I've met her, and um, she's wonderful, and I'm excited. I've never, you know, she's very, very talented. So. I have had talk sense. It's just she's very nice. I was just being very nice, just being a gentleman. Jason Momoa has finally spoken about his new girlfriend, Asa Gonzalez. Sorry, Jason Momoa fans, the actor is officially out of the dating pool once again. Several weeks after he denied rumors of a reconciliation with ex-wife Lisa Bonet, Momoa is confirmed to be dating actress Asa Gonzalez, 32. Momoa may currently be the more prominent celebrity of the two, but Gonzalez is a star in her own right. She She's been in the entertainment industry for over 15 years, but who is she? And how did their romance blossom all of a sudden? Let's find out on this video. Jason Momoa is seeing someone new following his breakup with longtime partner Lisa Bonet. The Aquaman star and Asa Gonzalez have been dating casually for a couple of months, a source close to the actress exclusively tells E! News. Momoa attended the Los Angeles premiere of Asa's action film Ambulance in April, though the two did not pose together for photos on the red carpet. It. A source tells people that Gonzalez, 32, likes attention and laid-back vibes after news of the pair dating broke on Saturday. She isn't necessarily looking for a boyfriend, though. The insider notes, she's having fun but is also very busy with her career. She really likes him. The insider continues, she's very focused on her career right now but everyone loves him and he's a fun guy to be around. While Jason, 42, has been busy filming Fast X, the 10th installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, the source says that he and Asa, who previously appeared in the action saga spin-off Hobbs and Shaw, plan on traveling to see each other when they can. It doesn't end there. A source tell people that Momoa, 42, and Gonzalez are exclusive and have been seeing each other since February after meeting through work and mutual connections. Right now, it's not a very serious situation and they're both just seeing where it goes, the insider says. They've been spending time together when they can and making it work between their two busy schedules. The source says Gonzalez, 32, is a very fun, down-for-anything type of person and is pretty adventurous for the most part. And she and Momoa share that same spirit. She's more of a long-term relationship person versus casual dater. The insider adds of that I care a lot actress. As for Momoa, he is a really good guy, very generous and happy all the time. He's all about love and spreading love. It's not that he's not taking it seriously, but with his kids, he is not going to rush into anything quickly. He had a lot of love for Lisa and there is still a lot of mutual respect there as far as she's concerned. The source says of Momoa, who shares daughter Lola, 14, and son Nicoa Wolf, 13, with Bonnie, 54. Social media was set ablaze after news broke of Jason's relationship with Aza. Many users took to Twitter to share their thoughts. This user wrote, Jason Momoa is dating Aza Gonzalez, and she's still on my short list to play Poison Ivy. So is she joining the DCEU? And I mentally cast Camille Vasquez to be played by Aza Gonzalez. Might be kind of awkward now that news is Aza and Jason Momoa are dating, but whatever. Wrote another. People still couldn't help but bring Amber Heard into this as well. This particular user tweeted, I'm glad Jason is with her instead of Amber as cavity and herpes heard. But who really is Jason Momoa's new flame and how did she end up in the Hollywood? Gonzalez is no stranger to high-profile relationships. She's been linked to actors Liam Hemsworth and Josh Duhamel, musician Calvin Harris and football star Cristiano Ronaldo. She also briefly dated Timothy Chalamet, who incidentally stars with Momoa in the Dune franchise. But the actress doesn't kiss and tell. I think that your life as a public person is already so exposed. I focus on my work, that's what really matters. She said in an interview with Latina. Gonzalez skyrocketed to fame at 16 in the telenovela Lola Erase Una Vez. At the height of her soap opera career, she left Mexico to try her luck in Los Angeles. Her first Hollywood project was From Dusk Till Dawn, the series. Since then, she has starred in films such as Baby Driver, Alita Battle Angel, I Care A Lot, and Godzilla vs. Kong. Gonzalez takes pride in her telenovela roots, which she has said shaped her work ethic. There's this stigma of doing soap operas and I'm like, soap operas prep me. I would have never been ready for this, she told Entertainment Tonight. Gonzalez's father died when she was 12 years old. For years, she suffered from a compulsive eating disorder triggered by depression. My father and I had an amazing relationship. We were very close. I fell into a very dark place and I couldn't deal with loss, she confessed to Latina. She remained close to her brother and their mom, former model Glenda Reyna. Gonzalez deeply admires Reyna, who raised two children on her own while dealing with grief. 
I was raised by a soldier. I adore my mom. She and I are best friends, she told the publication. Gonzalez may have gotten her big break in Hollywood by playing the quintessential Latina bombshell, but she's ready to move forward. It's been an uphill battle, though. It's really hard to force the industry to see in a different way. I'd love to see these massive directors really giving us the opportunity of doing a role that has nothing to do with our ethnicity, she told Observer. Her passion for her roles once landed her in hot water with her ambulance director, Mike. Michael Bay. Gonzalez had disagreed with Bay's director for her character, a paramedic. I just didn't want to make a joke or a cartoon version of who they were. I was very vocal about certain things that I didn't feel would be right, she explained to Screen Rent. Back home in Mexico, Gonzalez wasn't just an actress. She was also a singer with two studio albums under her belt. And after years in the spotlight, she's comfortable with the idea of taking the back seat and letting others shine. Someday, she plans to become a director, she told V Magazine. Currently, she's producing the upcoming biopic Maria Felix. It's really exciting because I never believed that I could be a producer. You can open a vessel for other people and I want to be able to do that for my friends. I have other actress friends of mine that are Latin and don't get the amount of opportunities that I get. She told Birdie. News of Jason's relationship with Asa, 32, comes four months after the actress and Lisa, his wife of four years, announced they were parting ways in marriage. We have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding and our family is of no exception. Exception, feeling and growing from the seismic shifts occurring. The pair, who share daughter Lola 14 and son Nicole Wolf 13, said in a joint statement in January, The love between us carries on, evolving in ways it wishes to be known and lived. We free each other to be who we are learning to become. Another source at the time told E! News that the couple had drifted apart before ending their decades-long relationship. Jason is very focused on his career and wants to work. He has found success and it's driving him and is very fulfilling. The second insider shared, Lisa wants to be in LA and is not not interested in going on location for long periods of time with him. Since the split, Jason has remained focused on their tight-knit clan, especially when it comes to Lisa's oldest daughter, Zoe Kravitz, who she shares with ex Lenny Kravitz. In March, Jason showed the support for Zoe at the premiere of The Batman, saying that he was there because they're still family. We're just so proud, Jason told Entertainment Tonight. Lisa couldn't be here, so we're representing me and the babies. Also in March, the actor sparked romance speculation when he was photographed offering his jacket to Kate Beckinsale at the Vanity Fair Oscars after party, though he later clarified that he was just keeping the British actress warm during a friendly chat. Something was going on. I had a conversation with a woman about her, you know, her country, so I was in England doing Aquaman 2, and everyone's like, oh, you're dating. I'm like, no, no. I was being, it's chivalry, it's just like, yeah. it's cold. Send Maybe the record cold. straight now with extra. Absolutely not, yes, we're not <laughs> together, we haven't, we haven't had talk since, it's just, she's very nice, I was just being very nice, just being a gentleman. Jason Momoa replaced Dwayne The Rock Johnson after the latter refused to work on the Fast and Furious 10. The Game of Thrones actor is currently filming for the upcoming film with Vin Diesel, and he looks quite excited to become part of the most popular franchise. Vin Diesel on Tuesday shared a video with Jason Momoa from the sets of Fast 10. Taking to Instagram, Diesel shared the video and revealed that the actors are busy filming for the highly anticipated movie, Week 5, day one of an intense new action sequence. He captioned the video. So what are your thoughts regarding Jason Momoa dating Asa Gonzalez? Do share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching right until the end and have a great day.